So the following example is in transformed sections and will be the final example for this topic. Um, so we have an aluminium I section, the one in black, and it's uh, strengthened by two timber plates, the ones in red. Okay. So the depth of our total section, so from the bottom of the flange to the top flange, we have 300 millimeters. The total width of this section is 200 millimeters. The thickness of the flanges are 20. The thickness of the web is, two, is 20 as well. Because this is all 200, then the thickness of each plate is 90. Of each timber plate is from here to here is 90, and from here to here is 90. Okay. So the elastic modulus of timber is 10,000 megapascals, and the elastic modulus of aluminium is 70,000 megapascals. We have a positive bending moment of 30 kilonewton meters applied about um, applied about the x-axis. We have to draw the stress and strain distributions in our section. So first of all, we have to convert the timber into steel because I want to convert the whole section into steel. So you divide the elastic modulus of timber by the one of sorry. Um, I want to convert the section into aluminium. So we're dividing the timber by the aluminium in terms of elastic moduli. So we do 10,000 divided by 70,000, which gives us 1 over 7. Okay, um, so we have to get the new width of the timber plate because um, we are converting everything into aluminium. So since our timber plate was, um, eight, was 80 millimeters each, sorry, 90 millimeters each from here to here, we would do 1 over 7 times 90 to get the new width of the timber, and this gives us 12.85 millimeters. So now the I section would look exactly the same except the flat the web is going to be